In today's video, we will step through the PC setup for OTG on the At Games Legends Pinball 4KP from beginning to end. I want to make you aware, if you're looking for information on setting up Pinball FX3 in HD on the Legends Pinball 4K, check out Tampa Tech's video, which I'll also have linked in the video description below where he guides you through the setup process. In this video, we'll focus on 4K setup, go over some PC ideas, what connections you'll need, how to configure the displays, a number of helpful tips that will save you hours of figuring things out on your own. We'll even discuss how to set up Pinball M with some brief gameplay. Let's get started setting up your PC and play some awesome pinball tables. I'm John, and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. Your first question may be, what is OTG and what does that mean? OTG is an acronym for On The Go. It basically allows you to connect three HDMI cables and an OTG cable to the back of the Legends pinball machine and use the displays and buttons on the pinball machine to play tables directly from your PC. It supports other features, but we'll keep things simple for now. To play virtual pinball tables from a PC to your Legends Pinball 4K machine in 4K, it's going to need to be fairly powerful. One of the main questions I see very frequently is, what is the minimum spec PC that I need? Well, there's no easy answer to that question. For that reason, I ask the community what they're using and how it performs and if they'd recommend it. I really appreciate all the responses that were received to that question. I took their feedback and created two sections on the written guide. There's a link down below, one for a pre-built PC option, and a second for building your own PC. You can check those two sections and see if the information there works for you. I decided on a pre-built machine, which is a bit overkill, but a bit more future-proof. I also added that information into the guide, and there's a video that goes into more details about it. Aside from the PC and your Legends Pinball 4K machine, there are some additional items that you'll need. Links for all of this is also in the guide in the basics section, but let's go ahead and discuss in more detail. Let's discuss the PC hardware and software setup. There are four cables that you'll need to connect between the PC and the Legends Pinball 4K. The exact type of cables needed will depend on the ports available on your PC's graphics card. If you have three available HDMI ports, you'll need three HDMI male-to-male -male cables that support 4K output. you also need one OTG cable, which is simply a USB-A to USB-A cable, and it carries the data between the PC and the machine, such as the various pinball buttons. If your PC or graphics card has multiple display ports, you can also use a display port to HDMI adapter for the back glass and DMD displays. This is what I'll be using, and I needed two of these types of cables. Each of these cables carry HD video signals only. Now we'll just connect one of the HDMI ends into the primary HDMI output port on the graphics card, then one of the display port ends to the graphics card, and the other display port in to the graphics card. The OTG cable should be plugged into an available USB 2.0 port. And on the back of the Legends Pinball 4K, we'll connect the other end of the OTG cable into the leftmost USB port or USB 2.0 port. Then one of the HDMI ends of the display port adapter into the DMD port. And the other HDMI end from the display port adapter into the back glass port. And finally, the primary HDMI for the playfield into the far left HDMI port. If you're in a game, go ahead and exit it. Then at the top right of the pinball machine, you'll find the channel button. Go ahead and press this button. And at the time of this recording, the control mode of OTG is the only option available. In the future, this may change. Regardless, make sure this option is set for OTG. Then move down to HDMI Audio Preference and set it for HDMI N1. 
the audio will come from your primary HDMI port on your PC. Move down to the incoming display rotation. There shouldn't be any changes needed here. While the HDMI in one may show portrait, it will actually appear on the pinball machine in landscape mode. The remaining HDMI ports should be set for landscape as well. Then just go back. From here, select the start button and press the play button on the front of the machine to start OTG. If you have another PC in your home that is perhaps in a more comfortable location, you can also easily remote connect to the PC you plan to use for OTG using TeamViewer. I find this particularly helpful for the initial setup and much of the setup you're about to see here was recorded this way. If you're interested in how to set it up, there is some basic info on the written guide to get you started. What's nice about this software is that you can also easily swap between the three displays by clicking this icon at the top. For example, here's Pinball FX playing Exploding Kittens on the playfield, the back glass, and the DMD. Just make sure if you use this software that you disconnect from the remote computer before you start playing the tables. It will introduce latency or lag if you stream with TeamViewer while playing. In this section, we'll discuss how to set up all three displays in Windows 11. As the Games Legends Pinball 4KP supports 4K resolution for the playfield, that is how it's going to be configured here. Simply right-click on the desktop and select Display Settings. Here I have all three displays arranged, the playfield on the far left, the back glass in the middle, and the DMD on the far right. The play field is set as the main display. The scale should be set to 100%. The display resolution at 3840 by 2160, and the orientation set for landscape. Under related settings, select advanced display and make sure it's set for 60 Hz, which is the refresh rate of the 4KP play field. Make sure all three displays are perfectly aligned at the top, and remember it's the order of the displays from left to right that matters, and not the numbers that you see for each display. Both the back glass and the DMD will be set identically. Those settings are scale is 100%, display resolution 1920 by 1080, and the orientation set for landscape. Under advanced display, again, make sure that the refresh rate is set for 60 Hz, Windows will default both to 30 Hz, which will impact your performance. And again, the DMD display on the far right should be set identically to the back glass display. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card in your PC, here's a few tips that may provide a little bit of latency improvements. For the very latest information, please check the written guide. Right-click on the NVIDIA icon and select NVIDIA Control Panel. Under Change Resolution, here I have it set for 1080p simply because it's easier to show it to you on screen. But you'll select 4K by 2K 3840 by 2160 and change the refresh rate from 60Hz to 59. Then click the Apply button. Additionally, you can click the Adjust Image Settings with Preview option and move the slider to either Performance or Balance. With my machine, I notice some screen tearing when set for performance, but you may want to go ahead and give it a try first. If you see screen tearing, then instead change it to balanced. When done, click the apply button. When it comes to mapping the buttons, there are a number of ways to accomplish this. Each pinball application has its own built-in method of mapping the physical buttons on the machine to the games you want to play. I prefer to use a tool called XPatter. It makes it easier for the end user as it allows me to provide a pre-configured profile that works with very little hassle. There is much more detail on the written guide should you want to learn more. XPatter is not a free piece of software, it costs about 10 US dollars. And in my opinion, it's well worth it, and I purchased my copy to support the developer. In this section, I'll show you how to set it up. From the XPatter section of the guide, Click the link for XPatter, select your language and country, then enter your email address and click the Go button. Then check your email and follow the instructions to register your copy. 
From within File Explorer, select the C drive, right click it, and select New Folder, and name the folder XPatter. Copy the XPatter executable that you received when registering into this folder, then double click it to launch it. When the dialog opens, click the Start button five times. When prompted for the program location, click the Program Location button. And here I'll select Do Not Associate. The main window for XPatter will then appear. Notice in the upper left there are two buttons or tabs that are visible. These represent the controllers that XPatter found. Only one of them is the one for the Legends Pinball 4K buttons. To determine which one it is, select one of the tabs. Then click the small controller icon in the upper left and select Properties. On the pinball machine, start pressing some buttons. If you see them light up when pressed, you selected the correct one. If not, try again using the other tab. Now just click the OK button. Next we'll download the profile for the Legends Pinball 4K. Click the download link here, then right click and select Extract All to extract the zip file. Select both files, right click, and select Cut. Navigate over to the XPatter folder and paste them into the folder by right clicking and selecting Paste. Next we'll load the profile that we just copied. Click the small controller icon in the upper left and select Open. Select the XPatter controller file and click Open. A set of empty buttons will then appear. Now click the wrench in the upper right and select All. Click the XPatter profile and click the Open button. The buttons will now be populated with keys that will be emulated as if you were pressing them on a physical keyboard. On the Legends Pinball 4K, press the buttons and make sure they turn green when pressed. If you click the wrench icon in the top right, you can also have XPatter start up when Windows starts by selecting the option. If you click the close button at the top right, it doesn't actually terminate XPatter, but instead just moves the application down to the taskbar. Right click the icon and click restore to bring back the window. You can also press close here if you no longer want XPatter running. If you want to remap any of the buttons according to your preference, just click the button and a virtual keyboard will appear. From here, you can change how the button is mapped, but normally everything should be all set for you. If you have any difficulties, there is some troubleshooting information available in the written guide. You may have noticed the test bar is showing up on both the DMD and the backlash display. It'll interfere with most pinball applications, so we'll turn that off for all but the Playfield display. Right click on the test bar and select Test Bar Settings. Then click on Test Bar Behaviors, scroll down, and then uncheck Show My Test Bar on All Displays. This will remove the test bar from showing up on the DMD and the Backglass displays. You may want to keep your PC from going to sleep. To do that, press the Windows key and X at the same time. Then select Power Options. Under Screen and Sleep, if you set each option to Never, the PC will remain on until you shut it down. If you have the optional Surround Sound Feedback or SSF kit installed in your Legends Pinball 4K, you may also want to set up 7.1 Surround Sound. If you don't, or not interested, you can skip over this brief section. If you're curious about how to install it, I'll place a link up above to a video that will show you how. The ability to take full advantage of SSF is dependent on the pinball application that you'll be running. To set it up, click the Start or Windows icon, type in mmsys.cpl, and click the icon. Select your Playfield display, which should be HDMI N1, and click the Configure button. The audio channel is likely set for stereo. Go ahead and change it to 7.1 surround. Then click the Test button to hear the audio separation through each speaker. If you're prompted that the device is in use, 
just click the Yes button to continue. Now click the Next button. There's nothing to change for optional speakers, so just click Next. Leave the full range speakers all checked and click Next. And that's it. Just click the Finish button and SSF is now set up. We'll now cover Zen Studio's Pinball FX and Pinball M setup. In this segment, we'll install and configure Pinball M to run in cabinet mode on the PC. Both Pinball M and Pinball FX are nearly identical in terms of the setup. I want to highlight that all of the steps you're about to see are in the written guide linked below. That is, the installation of the Steam client, installing Pinball FX or Pinball M, the settings for the main playfield, as well as the back class and DMD. There is one more important aspect that we'll discuss shortly, the back class images. We'll start off by downloading the Steam client, visit store.steampower.com and click the Install Steam button at the top and click the blue Install Steam button. Launch the installer that was downloaded and click Next. Select your language and again click Next. Accept the destination folder or change the drive letter if you prefer and click Install. Once done, Click the Finish button. Now either create a Steam account by clicking the Create a Free Account link in the lower right or log in with your existing account. Once Steam starts up, select Store and search for Pinball FX or Pinball M or if you already have it in your library, just select Library. Once located, click the Tile and then the Install button. You'll be prompted where you would like to install it. I'll leave it at the default and click the install button. Then review and accept the license agreement. The install will now begin. Neither Pinball FX nor Pinball M include backlash artwork for cabinet mode. In this section of the guide, you'll find two links for backlash artwork, one for Pinball FX and the other one for Pinball M. You'll need to create an account with LaunchBox to download the artwork packs. Once downloaded, extract the archive and the guide will identify which folder to copy the images to. After launching Pinball M or Pinball FX, with a keyboard connected, press the Escape key or the Menu button on the Pinball machine to open the options. Select Settings. Now select the Video tab. Under Basic Heading, the Window Mode should be Full Screen. Orientation set for 270 degrees. The resolution set for 3840 by 2160. Graphics quality will vary based on each machine. I have mine set to high. Vertical sync is enabled as well as ray tracing. If your graphics card is unable to handle ray tracing, uncheck this option. Now click the Advanced tab. Some of these options will be dependent on what type of graphics card you're using. I'm using an RTX 4070, so my settings have been adjusted for that card. On the guide, I have some other common options that may be helpful to you. Render scale is set for 100%. Anti-aliasing method is set for temporal AA. Anti-aliasing quality is set for high. NVIDIA reflex is enabled. Upscaler method is NVIDIA DLSS. Upscaler mode to balanced. And the frame limit is set for 60. This is the maximum refresh rate of the 4KP display, so yours should be set the same. The remaining options are up to your preferences. Now go back and select Cabinet Support. Here you'll select the Activate button. Since I already have it active, we'll go ahead and select Back Glass Window. It should be set for Enabled. The width is 1920 and the height is 1080, which is HD. The horizontal position is set for 3841. The vertical position to 0. 
If I switch to the back glass display, you'll see an animated outline around the border of the display. Next, we'll set up the DMD or LCD display window. Select LCD display window. It should be set for windowed. The width is set for 1920, height to 1080, horizontal position to 5760, and vertical position to zero. Again, if I switch to the DMD display, we'll see the animated border. That brings us to the end of another video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please click the like button. And I wanted to remind you that Pinball FX is set up the same as what you saw with Pinball M, but be sure and check the change log on the PC setup guide for any important updates. I'll have a link to it in the description below. And as new information is learned, it will continue to get updated. We'll also have a video coming up for setting up VPX, so if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Now we'll take a look at some brief gameplay. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to talking with you again very soon. I told you we were going to be friends to the end, and now it's time to play. <laughs> Yeah.